can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the real value of x that satisfies this equation. Square root of 4x minus 9 plus square root of 4x plus 9 equals 5 plus square root of 7. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video and let's see if your answer is correct. Now, to answer this question, I will use this trick. Let r be equal to square root of 4x minus 9, and let s be equal to square root of 4x plus 9. Of course, this is one of the possible ways to answer this kind of question. Alright, now, in this method, we can say if we square on both sides, if we square on both sides, we can say that r squared and s squared must be equal to 4x minus 9 and 4x plus 9 respectively. And now, our original equation, take note, we get r plus s must be equal to 5 plus square root of 7. And notice, if we subtract these two equations, r squared and s squared, notice that we can eliminate 4 x because if we distribute this negative sign to 4x plus 9 this will give us 4x minus 9 minus 4x minus 9 and we have negative 4x right here and positive 4x so if we combine them this is just zero so the right hand side of our equation becomes negative 9 minus 9 and negative 9 minus 9 this is just negative 18 so r squared minus s squared must be equal to negative 18. And r squared minus s squared, we can use the difference of two squares. And we can factor this as follows. We have r plus s multiplied by r minus s equals negative 18. Now, what's the good thing if we factor out r squared minus s squared? Now, take note. We have a value for r plus s. Here we go. r plus s must be equal to 5 plus square root of 7. So we can replace r plus s with 5 plus square root of 7 like this. Now, we can now solve for the value of r minus s. What we're going to do is to divide both sides by 5 plus square root of 7. And to simplify the right hand side of our equation what we're going to do is to rationalize this and let's multiply this to its conjugate so 5 minus square root of 7 over 5 minus square root of 7 now let's multiply this but on the numerator don't distribute negative 18 to 5 minus square root of 7 so maybe we can eliminate something after we simplify the denominator now 5 plus square root of 7 multiplied by 5 minus square root of 7, this will give us 5 squared minus square root of 7 raised to the power of 2. So this simply equal to 25 minus 7. And 25 minus 7, this is just 18. So we can eliminate 18 on numerator and 18 on the denominator. So the left hand side must be equal to negative of 5 minus square root of 7. And now, let's distribute this negative sign to 5 and negative square root of 7. So we have r minus s equals negative 5 plus square root of 7. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit. And let's compare these equations to the first. So we have r plus s equals 5 plus square root of 7. And r minus s equals square root of 7 minus 5. Now, wait a minute. What if we interchange this 5 and square root of 7? Because addition is commutative, we can do this like square root of 7 plus 5. And now, without using elimination method or other methods to solve for the values of r and s, we can say that r must be equal to square root of 7 because the first equation says r plus s equals square root of 7 plus 5. And the second equation says r minus s equals square root of 7 minus 5. So this r is technically equal to square root of 7 
And this S, this S right over here, must be equal to 5. Now, if you are not convinced with this solution, you can use elimination method and see that R must be equal to square root of 7 and S must be equal to 5. So, using this observation, we can say that R equals square root of 7 and S equals 5. Now, let's use this value to solve for the value of X. Because we know this R, we can replace this with square root of 7. And this S right over here, we can replace this with its equivalent, 5. Now, we have two equations and our goal here is to solve for the value of X. So now, let's have the first equation. We have square root of 7 equals square root of 4x minus 9. It follows that 7 equals 4x minus 9. Now, let's add 9 on both sides. 7 plus 9, this will give us 16. Divide both sides by 4 to solve for the value of x. And 16 divided by 4, this will give us a value of 4. So x, given the first equation, we get x equals 4. Now, on the second equation, of course, we expect to get a value of 4. But again, let's do this. So, to solve for the value of x, let's square on both sides. So, we have 25 equals 4x plus 9. Subtract 9 on both sides. 25 minus 9 is 16. And divide both sides by 4. We know 16 divided by 4 is 4. So, finally, we can now say that definitely x equals 4 given this equation square root of 4x minus 9 plus square root of 4x plus 9 equals 5 plus square root of 7. And of course, we want to check if our answer is correct. So let's replace this x as 4. This x is 4 also. 4 times 4 is 16 minus 9 is square root of 7. And 4 times 4 is 16 plus 9 is 25 and square root of 25 is 5, so plus 5, and that is equivalent to 5 plus square root of 7. Therefore, our answer to this question, what are the real values of x that satisfies this equation? And our answer is 4. And as always, we are done.